we got people in Ukraine right now that are fleeing to other uh, countries for safety because of the whole conflict with Russia. At the moment of this uh, recording, there's people right now on foot, civilians right now on foot, in convoys and stuff like that, going to different regions uh, for safety. And it makes me wonder why I haven't made a map and compass navigational video yet. Stay tuned and subscribe. Back to In Your Defense with Daniel Cothran. Today we're talking about navigation without using a map. We're going to use sticks, uh, mud, um, pen and paper, all that stuff. This is basically what you're going to use in a pinch when you are uh, in a survival situation. Uh, we will be using a compass, so this is based on hopefully you're prepared and that you have a compass in hand. So uh, uh, let me introduce my lovely training partner. This is Barbara Salyer. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and today we got a little rug rat. Noah, can you see him? Hopefully it worked. Um, you wanna say hi to everybody? Say hello. Say hi. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, all right, so just stay tuned. What you'll need it to do first is make sure you understand what your pace count is. Your pace count is going to be the distance it takes you to travel from one spot to the other, counting your leg. Barbara's counting every time her right leg hits the ground. She's going 100 yards doing this, remembering the number. She'll turn around, do it again, add the two numbers, and then divide by two, thus getting her pace count. Going clockwise, starting from the top, we have the seismic coordinate baseline. The dial can be rotated and positioned. Compass green arrow pointing north, a magnifier, a metal pendant, a built-in dampening oil, which is good for stability, a 360 degree turntable, a coordinate ladder, and a mirror concave convex mirror design. The next thing you'll need to do is get a reading by shooting at azimuth. You'll use the siding slot and the siding wire to locate the, dist the place that you want to go to and then look through the lens and see what uh, the degree marking you are actually going to be traveling on. Now that you know how to get your pace count and shoot uh, reading through your compass, let's get back to Barbara. All right, so the next one was from point A. All right. 325 degrees. So we put the corner of this on point A and we go 300 and, what'd you say? 25 degrees. 300. Come here. And 25 degrees. So we just sit it there and let the compass rotate. Start spinning. You said twenty five. Yeah, three twenty five. Okay, 
That's pretty close. Uh -huh. Get out of there. And then from here, we just put a point, go straight across. What's your pace? 20. So pretty close to the same. Just put our little pace counting marker. Start it there. Twenty paces to get twenty paces. We're gonna have pretty close to the same distance. That's not right. <laughs> that's your first sevens on this line, which means that's fourteen, and this one's closer to twenty, not this one. Oh yeah, I'm looking it upside down. So, all right, so all right, right here. So this will be B. All right. B, what was the degrees? 225. Put the corner on there, we're going to do 225. Make sure it's level. Nailed it. Dang, I did make a damn triangle, didn't I? I done pretty good, didn't it? Yep. <laughs> then, then what's the next one? D is, or well, it's 19 paces Mama. for that one. Mama. Mama. C is 19 paces. Mama. Mama. Oh, well, they touched. We we personally knew. Oh well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, D is 70 degrees, 35 paces. 35 paces. Stop, bud. Yeah, 70 degrees. Yeah.